Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Shala. Today, in this video, we would be discussing what SSH config is and why most IT professionals using Linux or working in Linux operating systems use it. SSH config is a configuration file that is used to specify SSH options and settings for connecting to remote servers. The SSH config file is typically located in the home directory in a .ssh folder. So that would come to be a tilde slash .ssh in your local machine and the name of the file is config. I'll quickly show you how the thing looks like. So this is something like this. It is tilde dot ssh slash config. Now my home directory is slash home slash mobile x. The ssh config file allows you to define certain options and settings for individual hosts or group of hosts which can simplify the process of connecting to the remote server and reduce the need for repetitive typing of the command line. So when we say repetitive typing, it is nothing but typing ssh hyphen icpb 0pem I then give the ec2 hyphen user and then provide the public IP address, which is this instead of typing ssh hyphen icpb 0 ec2 hyphen user blah 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 blah. This can be simplified with an SSH config wherein you could just say SSH and the name of the server to which you want to connect and that should give you the connection. Some of the common settings that we have in SSH config file is host, host name, user, identity file, port, proxy command and forward agent. Now host defines a host entry that can be used to specify options for connecting to a specific remote server. Host name is nothing but the IP address or the DNS name that you want to connect to. The user is nothing but the username that we want to use to connect to the server. Identity file is comes into picture if you are going for a passwordless authentication that is with a private key and a public key combination. So the private key is listed over there. So the path to the key is what is listed actually in the identity file. Port is nothing but the port number to which on which you want to connect to. So let's quickly look at an example of how this can be done. So let me go inside the .ssh folder and do an ls l you have the config file over here. So I'll open this config, I'll try to open this config file in Visual Studio code and let's see if that opens it or not. Yes, it has opened the config file. Now you see that there are already some entries which I extensively use uh, on a day to day basis for connecting to my, but I'll just give you a walkthrough of the other stuff. So if we have to create a new entry, so I'll give host, I'll say, let me give the name as Bastion. Bastion host is what I give the name as. The next thing that I would be giving is the host name a host name is nothing but the IP address that I have to give so if you see I already have two EC2 instances in my EC2 console or the AWS console I would take the public IP address of my server which is in the public subnet I'll paste the IP address the user that I want to use is EC2 hyphen user the port number which I would be using to connect is port 22 and the identity file location would be something similar to what I already have at top with some minor changes that is cpb00.pen is what I would be using. Now you could make it as this. So now what we can do is if I just with this config being saved, what I could do is if I just say ssh bastion hyphen host I would then be directly sent into the EC2 instance directly now you see earlier we were providing 
the SSH hyphen I with all of those parameters. Now, the only thing that I have to provide is SSH and the host name or the host details that we entered in the in the SSH config. I clear the screen. If you feel Bastion host to be a bit difficult, so what you could say is uh, Bastion and that's it. So all I have to do is exit and if I just say Bastion, I would be able to connect into the server. Now let's quickly look at how we could use same SSH config to connect to a private EC2 instance. So I'll quickly go to the SSH config. So I'll create a new configuration. So the new configuration would look like host private instance. I'll just say private instance. The host name this time would be the IP address again. But this time, because for the private EC2 instance, I only have a private IP. So I would be using that private IP over here. The username or the user that I would be using is EC2 hyphen user. So I will not be specifying a port number as of now. Uh, you would you would soon know why. Uh, I would be providing the identity file details. So I just copy paste the thing from above because I'm using the same identity file that I have. Here, what I would be doing is would be using something called as a proxy command. The proxy command is nothing but a configuration of a proxy connection to the remote server. The command looks something like ssh hyphen w with the, the w is uppercase. It is percentage h and percentage p. That is a combination of any host and any port. So that's what is being provided over here. And then we give the bastion details. I'll just say this. So now what is going to happen is when I do an SSH private instance, what this is going to do is first it is going to connect to the Bastion server, which is this configuration. Once this is connected, it would then forward the port, any random port that we have, it would forward it to this instance and we would directly be able to connect to this private instance. I'll give you a very quick example. So that is this and if you see I would now be able to connect to this instance directly though it took some time yes we are into the EC2 instance directly now this EC2 instance is the private private one from the IP address 10.0.1.246 now if you have seen the previous video of ours wherein we discussed SSH tunneling so that would explain you in detail what exactly is happening in this piece of configuration. So first we create a configuration or a tunnel for the bastion server. The once the tunnel is created, we would then be connecting to the private EC2 instance. Now there were two steps involved in the previous example or the, in the previous video. There were two steps involved. One was creating a tunnel with SSH hyphen L we gave a local port number the private ip address colon 22 and the details of the public ip address of the bastion server and then we had to do an ssh local host on that particular port number which is when we were able to connect to that server here what is happening is with percentage p a random port is being selected by the SSH config and it is directly establishing a connection with the private instance that we have. That's it for this video folks. We hope this video was informative. Please like and share this video across with multiple people. If you are not subscribed to the channel, we strongly recommend you to subscribe to the channel so that you keep getting many more videos like these thank you so much for watching keep having a great day bye bye